Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on these face mask adapters, which I think are brilliant. Now, I'm not a fan of the crocheted face masks because they, I just feel they are not suitable for the intent that they are supposed to be used for, but I thought these were brilliant. These are actually adapters so that when you're wearing a face mask, you can take the um, ties from around the ears and actually put them around here and it stops sores and things. So a lot of healthcare workers are really appreciative of these. My friend Carol actually posted these on Facebook and I just thought it was a brilliant idea. So she's given me the pattern so that I can do a tutorial for you. I will leave a link in the description box below because there is a Facebook group that she set up where you can go across and get the written pattern and just talk to other people making them as well. Um, so for this tutorial, you will need some cotton yarn. You can do this in Aran or DK weight. I'll leave a link in the description box below of this particular one that I'm using. You will need some buttons, um, around two centimeter buttons. I'm using these ones here. Again, I'll leave a link in the description box below. You will need a three and a half millimeter crochet hook, a darning needle for sewing on your buttons and also two stitch markers as well. Okay, so remember all the links are in the description box below. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends as well. And let's get making these for our precious healthcare workers who really need a little bit of support right now. Okay, let's get started. So you want to go ahead and make your slip knot in whichever method you prefer, but you also want to leave a long tail end and we're going to be using that to sew our buttons on at the end. So we're going to begin by chaining 15. So that's yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through and yarn over, pull through. Now, if you need this adapter to be a bit longer, you can of course chain a little bit longer. So chain as long as you need for as wide as you want it to be. Uh, just be aware that obviously the starting chain is going to be slightly smaller than the whole piece put together, but you can adapt it is uh, the point I'm making here. But for this particular one, we're going to chain 15. So go ahead, pause the video, chain 15 and meet me back in just a moment. Okay, so once you've done your chain, we're going to go ahead and start working a double crochet. So that's a UK term in the US, this is known as single crochet. We're going to do this in the second chain from the hook. So not the one that's on the hook, this is the first and then this is the second. So go into that chain and then yarn over and pull through. You'll have two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both of those loops on the hook. You're then going to take a stitch marker and mark that very first stitch. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop that in the top of that stitch. And then we're going to work all the way across the chain except for the last chain. So we're going to do double crochet into each stitch all the way along. So insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So go ahead, work those double crochets or single crochets if you're in the US all the way across until you reach that very last chain. Pause the video and meet me back in just a moment. So now you've worked those double crochets, we've then left with that last chain and we're going to actually turn our work so we can work around the opposite side of the chain now. So you're going to go into that very last chain and do three double crochets. One, two, and three. And out of those three double crochets, you want to go ahead and mark that center stitch. So we've just done one, two, three. I'll do the middle one and mark that stitch just there. Now we're going to work back along this chain and we're going to be working into the opposite, the other side of the chain basically. So as we pull this apart here, you can see that this is the chain that we've just worked into and the next one is just here. So we're going to leave that tail end out because we're going to use that for sewing on our buttons. And you want to do a double crochet into each stitch all the way along. So into the back of that chain. So go ahead, pause the video, work those stitches until you meet yourself at the stitch just before the stitch marker. 
so it will be the second to last stitch just here. So pause the video and meet me back in just a moment. Now you've worked your way all the way along, we're then going to do an additional two stitches into that very last stitch because we've already done one in there. So we'll do one and two and that completes our end. We're going to remove this stitch marker now and move on to round two. We're not going to join with a slip stitch, we're just going to work in a spiral. So into this very first stitch, we're going to do three double crochets. One, two, and three. And then we're going to work one double crochet into every stitch all the way until we meet the stitch marker. So you're going to work a double crochet up to the stitch marker, so the stitch just before. Pause the video, work those stitches, and meet me back in just a moment. So now that you've worked your way up to that stitch marker, you're going to remove that stitch marker and do three double crochets into that stitch. One, two, and three. And then you're going to work one double crochet all the way until you reach your very first stitch. So go ahead, pause the video, work your way round to the first stitch of this round and then meet me back once you are ready. Okay, so I've met myself at my very first stitch. You can tell because it's the three double crochets. What you want to do here is slip stitch into that first stitch and chain one and snip off your yarn. and then you can go ahead and pull that out. So we're going to use these tail ends for sewing in. I'll just show you this one first because we're going to do something slightly different with this one. You want to thread up your darning needle and then you want to bring it through to the place where you want your buttons to go. So I'm just going to bring it to this section just here so that I can bring that round to the front like this. I can place my button on and pull through. This obviously only has two holes, the button. Yours might have four, depending on what uh, size button or what type of button you choose. But you just want to sew that on like so, so that it sits at the end of the adapter and then go ahead and sew that in. So I like to put a little knot there and then I use my rule of three for sewing ends in. So I go one way, back the other, trying to catch different fibers this is cotton yarn, so it's quite easy to go within the fibers. And then back the other way once more. So again, trying to catch different fibers. You can go ahead and snip off. And then we can do the same with this one. This one's sat in the right place this time because that's where the chain started. So you can go ahead and sew on your button in exactly the same way. So there you have your face mask adapter. As I say, I think these are brilliant for healthcare workers. They can still wear the proper masks, but it helps them out by taking the elastic off their ears so that they don't get such sore ears. Please share this with your friends. Don't forget to take a look at the Facebook group in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and I shall see you again next time. Bye.